Hey everybody, Bess McCarty here with the Ask Bess Show. Today the topic is bless this day and those I serve. And this can be interesting. Um, I'll start with a little story about gratitude. Yesterday I went to the grocery store, was trying to pull in near the front door and there was a little parking spot uh, just to the right of the door. And I spotted this parking spot, somebody swooped in and took it. And then I spotted a parking, at, at, you know, after that happened, a car pulled out to the left of the front door and I pulled into that one gratefully. I went into the store, I came back out on the right side, and I saw on the right side of my car that the right rear tire was very, very flat, was very, very low. And I had just filled the tires a week ago and I thought, that's strange that it's so low. But how interesting that if I would have pulled in to the parking spot to the right of the, the grocery store front door, I wouldn't have seen it because I would exited my car from the, its left side and entered my car again from its left side. But this made me go around the car and see the car on the right side as I came back to it. So I count that as um, a blessing <laughs> of this day and being able to maybe avert a blowout. So um, I got the tire filled and I'm gonna get it fixed tomorrow on Monday. Bless this day to me means a lot of things, not only counting the blessings, but being a blessing <laughs> to other people too. I've realized in fact that the love that I, the love and joy I experience in any situation is the, the love that I bring to it. It doesn't come from the outside, it comes from inside, reflected out from others or responded back by others, multiplied by others even. So I realized that when I, I it, it, realizing that makes me um, free from fearing a loss in my life of someone leaving or dying or something. Like when my little dog passed away a year and a half ago, I missed him terribly. And I realized that what I missed, part of what I missed was the caregiving that I gave to the dog, you know, being able to care for someone. And I thought, oh, that came from inside me. I still have that. I can give that to myself. I can take care of myself, my clients, my students, and, and my neighbors and people that I love. I can still have that good feeling. It freed me up a little bit. Same when my son left home at age 12. I was a single mother and he needed to go live with his dad, so he did that. And I, I realized, well, I now I can give my love to my clients and my students. You know, now I was free to do that. That was the time to do that, the love that he taught me to give, you know, by loving him so much and caring for him. Um, so this, this has freed me knowing that the love really does come from the inside and that I can give love in any situation. It has freed me many times from unhappiness, from loneliness, from feeling like a victim or feeling like a lack of love is here for me. It's freed me from fear, from judging others, for, from criticizing others for not giving enough to me. Um, and it's freed me from measuring how much I get back by giving, by saying, okay, I'm here to serve, I'm here to serve. It's like switching a TV channel for me, it's been magical. So when I feel unhappy, I say, well, how can I give? Who needs what I have to give? And it, it's very interesting when I think of giving to all people, not just the people who give to me, but maybe even the people who can't give to me, who can't give me a smile, who can't give me a kindness. Maybe those are the people who need it the most. And maybe that's, you know, maybe it'll open their heart or maybe uplift their day or even, you know, make them feel better. But I don't do it for that reason. I just do it just to see how I can help or how I can assist. But sometimes that's the hardest to do, right? When we don't feel good ourselves, it's the hardest to go ahead and reach down and find it somewhere to switch that TV channel again to service. But it's a real gift to ourselves and to others when I do it. And I try to remember that people are not their behaviors. I don't have to like the behavior, but that person always deserves love and respect and, well, kindness at least, and respect at least, no matter what they've done. You know, even a criminal still deserves respect for themselves as a person, even if their, their behavior wasn't good. So I try, it's kind of a stretch for me to be patient or understanding or kind, especially when I'm not feeling good or I've just received a barb from them. But that's, um, that's when I gain my spiritual muscle. Anybody have some thoughts about this? 
I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, I'd love for you to subscribe, share, comment below, keep the discussion going below. And for those who want self-help tools, I have made those free for you at bestmccarty.com slash real. It stands for Real Conversations with Ourselves. So I invite you to find those at bestmccarty.com slash real. And we'll see you in the next show. Everybody take care. Bye-bye.